Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm smiling because I'm out in Wildwood Park in Radford, Virginia, looking at spring woodland wildflowers again. I love this park. It's really a gem of urban forestry right in the center of Radford City. And it has an amazing array of these spring ephemeral woodland wildflowers that only bloom for a few weeks out of the year and are completely gone by the time the leaves come out on the trees. And Wildwood Park is so cool because these are actually like deep woodland, rich woodland wildflowers. And you can see them here, such easy access. Anybody can just take 10, 20 steps off the trail and be in the middle of these amazing woodland wildflowers. One of my favorites and the real sign of spring for me is called Spring Beauty. And it's aptly named because they occur in the spring and they are beautiful. So I'll show you how to identify these plants, what to look for, check out the variation, and tell you a few things about how they were used in the past. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. These bright pink spring woodland wildflowers grow abundantly across this shady northern hillside of this park that's divided by a stream on the bottom. And on the trail on both sides of me, there is an abundance of these plants. They're characterized by these beautiful pink flowers and these paired grass-like leaves. And the pink in them varies from flower to flower. The petals of five petals and these brilliant little lines radiating out from the center of the flower. So the thing to look for to identify spring beauties are these beautiful five-petaled flowers, the paired grass-like leaves, and this beautiful pink color. Radford City was long ago colonized by indigenous peoples of the Americas, and they had a fairly large encampment um, along the river in what is now Bissett Park. And I'm sure I can imagine the uh, peoples that lived there would send their children up here to dig the tubers of spring beauties late in the springtime and early summer. The tubers have a, uh, are, are like a bulb that has a potato-like quality to it and are edible. Personally, I haven't ever eaten these. I value the spring woodland flowers too much to do anything but photograph them. And if you're interested in learning more about that, make sure you consult an expert. Make sure that you know exactly what you have because as many nutritious plants and mushrooms as there are, there's just as many that are uh, toxic to people. So be really careful with that. And always check your local rules and laws and regulations concerning where you can collect things for your personal use like this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. And if you didn't know what spring beauty is, I'm sure you're going to recognize it now. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. I love listening to my viewers. And so check out my playlist for wildflowers and learn to identify more and enjoy going outside and discovering the nature that you can see just outside your door. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.